that the tissues of my body would protect the tissues of another. Hey, Michi, what can technology do to help our animal friends? Here is Caramel the squirrel. Her legs were badly injured by a trap, so she was unable to walk to find her own food. She would have died within days. Luckily, she was adopted by a kind man who created a prosthetic device with wheels. Today, Caramel is able to run around and be happy again, thanks to prosthetic legs. That's awesome! But squirrels are so small. What about bigger animals? Here is Mosha the elephant. She had a very bad day when she walked on the landmine and her right leg was severely damaged. For an animal this big, not having all four legs would mean a life of misery, pain, and great sadness every day. Luckily, a kind physiatrist found her. He created an artificial leg for Mosha. It wasn't perfect at first. He ended up redesigning the leg nine times over the years. Today, Mosha can walk around and enjoy her life. Thanks to prosthetic legs. I'm happy to hear that. Show me other animals that prosthetic devices can help. Sure. Are there any animals that prosthetic devices cannot help? Well, it's not a prosthetic devices that can help our animal friends, but it's the kindness and the caring in the man's heart that really makes the difference. I'm not sure if I understand it correctly. Can prosthetic body parts help a human being? Here is Lesbo, a Colorado man who lost both his arms in an electrical accident 40 years ago. An ambitious surgeon invented a way to reassign nerves that once controlled the arm and the hand. He can now control his new hands just by thinking about the action he wants them to perform. Whoa! How about prosthetic fingers? Or noses? Or breasts? Sure. Burn. What's this? I've had success with transplants. Now I can do it for her. Are you talking about a prosthetic head? <laughs> She'll live and I'll get her another body. The tissues of my body would protect the tissues of another. No, this is not a prosthetic head. This is a character from the old movie called The Brain That Wouldn't Die. The mad doctor developed a way to keep human body parts alive. He attempted to keep his fiancée's head alive until her alternative body was found. No way!